So we met in high school. Our friends were dating each other, and then we all became friends and got to know each other. And um, we both played volleyball, so we also knew each other from playing volleyball. That's correct. <laughs> Uh, so I thought she was crazy, and she, but she was always having a good time, you know, always had a smile on her face, so that's what made me want to get to know her a little bit better. And um, so during volleyball, I was the, like, assistant coach, and I always had a secret crush on him. He was the cute, really tall, funny one. So I always secretly liked him and I thought he had no idea who I was and I was younger than him in a different grade and then once we graduated and we were in college then we started hanging out more and got to know each other more but he was the tall, good looking, goofy one. <laughs> So we kind of started dating in college and we would go to karaoke together almost religiously every Monday with a big group of friends and started hanging out that way. And then we would hang out outside of karaoke and start going to country concerts. But we definitely hung out more as friends together, a big group of friends. And then slowly we were hanging out more and more. And then he finally asked on 4th of July. So that's when it became official. Yeah, at our house on 4th of July, I decided I was ready to, to make it official and everything's been great from there. <laughs> um, I said it first and it was on Christmas Eve after Chris, Kristen had wrapped all of my Christmas presents, which was really nice. <laughs> and it was late at night and I was just ready to say it and that was how I felt and then she had a, I think it was a five minute pause before <laughs> she said I love you back. I was soaking in the moment and he still gives me crap about it but I was just smiling, I couldn't stop smiling and then I was like, oh, I love you too, like, oh, we're gonna say this now because... It was a long pause. Yeah, it started as, I like you, and then he started saying... I more than like I'm you. more than like you, and then the little heart face emojis started coming into the text messages. That's when it gets serious. When and then shortly after that, <laughs> then we started saying it, so... He still likes to just give me a hard time about that. If she I says it first, I, I always wait a long time before saying it back. I was just soaking it all in. Yeah. <laughs> so I knew he was one for me after our families met and we started hanging out more in family settings. And my mom would always ask him to do things and he never hesitated to do them or always. help around the house. My dad would put him to work in the backyard. And once I saw my parents really loving him and I worked a lot of weddings and I started picturing us at the head table and us at the wedding and who would be our bridesmaids. And so I think when I started thinking more long-term and seeing all of our holidays together it's like okay he's more than just a boyfriend I think he's someone special nice <laughs> wow um, yeah I would say the same if, as soon as we were hanging out with each other's families constantly and it just seemed like we were it was one big family you know for every Christmas and Thanksgiving and every event um, and our families got along so well and Anytime I thought about, you know, my future, it was always, she was always right there with me, so that was what I knew. So cute. That's really cute. <laughs> so it was our five-year anniversary, and I woke up and my friends asked if I wanted to go get my nails done, which wasn't a typical 4th of July. Usually we're drinking already by 10 a.m. or out at a party somewhere, so... Um, we were getting our nails done and they were like, make sure you don't do any like crazy colors. And I was like, okay, like thinking about it. And then we got home and there was a flower arrangement all set up and a note from him saying there's dresses in the closet, go pick out one. And we had plans to meet for lunch because he wasn't there in the morning. I thought last minute buying a gift or buying some flowers. So when I came home, I was like, okay, it was just anniversary flowers were fine. Um, so we got ready, we're running around the house, and then we went to go meet the boys for lunch. 
and um, my friend said we're meeting them in the parking lot and I was like oh we're like hanging out beforehand or whatever and start walking over and she kind of took a step over and then I was like following her and I look up and Brendan's there at Balboa Park in this like beautiful fountain area all by himself all dressed up and I just start bawling I was like oh my god it's really happening like and I saw our friend with a camera because we had kind of talked about like how we wanted it and I was like I want my family there and I want proof like the pictures but I didn't want to know it was all happening so as soon as I saw Nick's back I was like uh oh this is really happening lost it ran over to him it was so hot and I'm just like fixing my hair I'm crying he's telling me to calm down I have no idea what he said then he's all of a sudden down on one knee and busts out this beautiful ring and everyone starts clapping it was kind of like a bachelorette moment i see all my family his family his mom flew in from florida his mom and dad everybody was there it was my family was there it was it was amazing <laughs> so what was really going on was <laughs> she was at a volleyball tournament for a couple days before july 4th which was our five year anniversary which was nice because it gave me some some planning time and in the morning, I was at the airport picking my mom up and I told her, I think that I was going to get a gift and, you know, she was wondering where I was the whole time, but I was picking her up and then, you know, going to breakfast and getting everything ready. So I go to Balboa Park with my family's there, her family's all there, um, and it was so hot so I was sweating the whole time um, and I think I was, yeah couldn't put my shirt on until right before she got there um, and we were clearing out everyone to keep the area you know with nobody in it and she finally gets there and she's just crying like crazy so uh, yeah it was tough it was tough to get through the uh, the talking part uh, but everything worked worked out perfectly Hi, Brendan. Um, I cannot believe we made it this far. We're at our rehearsal dinner. Last day is fiance's, and then I'm your wife. That's crazy. But I am so excited to have you by my side for the rest of my life. You make me the happiest girl. I know every single day that I will be told I'm beautiful because you already do that. You make me laugh every single day. And I am just the luckiest girl to have you by my side through every up and down, whatever life throws at us. I know you will be there to solve my problems, make me laugh. And I'm just so excited that we're gonna be official Mr. and Mrs., husband and wife. And I could not be happier to go on this final journey of life with you. And you make me the happiest girl in the world. I love you. Our wedding day is tomorrow, which is unbelievable and crazy. I want to say thank you for all the planning that you did to put all of this together. And also thank you for saying yes to marry me, which started all of this off. I, I love everything about you. It all started with you know, us being friends and then we started loving each other. And now we're going to get married. So I'm excited for our future together and having a house and kids and a lot of dogs. And it's gonna be amazing. Love you. All right, so we want to say thank you very much to both of our sets of parents for everything that they did um, and all their support to put on this huge wedding for everyone. And we're really grateful, so thank you very much. And thank you to everyone who's flown out. We have people from almost every state coming out to celebrate with us. We can't wait to spend time with you tonight and tomorrow, this whole wedding weekend. We're looking forward to spending all this time with you and making all these special memories. And definitely a huge thank you to Jim and Teresa for planning our rehearsal dinner and to my parents for putting on our wedding. We can't wait. We love you all. Thank you. <laughs>